Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's a good one. Okay. I hope it's oh, oh yeah. Showtime. Showtime. Lights on. Camera's on. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a good one, Johnny. Oh, good one. That's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Okay. Oh, it's a big one. Oh yes. yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, come on. Is it? Here's oh. Oh yeah. It's a big one. Oh man. It's a nice one, Brad. It's a big oh, one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll get my scale, Brad. Oh yeah. He's not huge. About nine, eight, nine pounds. Oh, okay. Oh, he swallowed it. I might keep that one. He's pretty small. Look at that. Yeah. You want to keep him? Yeah. Might as well. He's and not he a huge one. Yeah. Oh, that's Ten a pounds. good one. We'll weigh him. We'll keep him. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. It's been terrible fishing, but we got a second flag already. Hopefully there's a fish there. It's terribly windy today. I really need a microphone on me. But let's see what's here. This flag is tipped. Who knows? a good one it's thinking it's really running oh did he drop it did he just drop it he was running oh he dropped it he was running I should have slammed him he might come back that was a big fish really heavy oh man he spit it out well we'll try again just hooking our herring like that yeah, that was a big fish. He was really taking line. Oh, well. Uh, not sure why he just dropped it all of a sudden. I was just about to set the hook and he just spit it out. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm out with my father-in-law and Uncle Johnny. And we're fishing an area where we know it has some big pike. It's uh, kind of a big flat lake. But we have an area where a stream dumps out. So you have an underwater peninsula from the sand that pours into the lake. And at the end of that, it kind of drops off pretty quickly into the main lake. So it comes all the way out at four to five feet. And then within 10 feet, it drops to 12 feet. Now, the fish are off in different places on that drop off. So we will usually set tip ups right up on the flat, four to five feet on the drop in like seven to eight feet and then off in about 15 feet of water and these tip ups are only about mm, 40 feet apart and uh, usually one of those depths will start getting hit more and then you can move the other ones to that similar depth along the the ridge so since this tip up in the middle at uh, the eight nine foot range right on that drop off probably those big pike are cruising right along that edge and then they can just jet up or jet down to grab fish uh, and that's what's happening because two two hits already on this um, on this flag and they are both bigger fish the first one was around nine pounds 11 ounces and that one felt really big it took off hard and when you you know when they're pulling line like that it's a good fish uh, definitely over 10 pounds maybe even bigger up to 20 because it felt pretty good before I set the hook anyways so I'll move the deeper one out uh, along this ridge just over here behind me and uh, put it on the drop off and see if that one starts getting action see if my theory is correct okay stick with us see how we do hope this helps you when you're out looking for big pike too we just got another flag in the same hole where i just lost that big one maybe he's back and uh i moved i just moved one tip up over and i was setting up another one on that drop off but this flag pops so we'll see see if he's there This time, this time, this time, oh, he's not that big. Oh, he's not that big. Maybe a seven, eight pounder. Oh, he's big. He's big. He's pretty big. It's pretty cool. 
cold out here, so I want to keep them in the water. Lucky's hooked just in the corner of the mouth. All right, I need pliers. I need pliers. Yeah. We'll just let him sit in the hole like that. He's under the water. He's just resting in the hole. Keeping his eyes from getting frozen. Okay, another decent pike. Another decent pike right there. Well, that's how it's done. Another pike on the ice. It's not a huge one, about nine pounds, eight, nine pounds. Probably, uh, usually we let the ones over 10 pounds go. That's about the size we seem to get here, so. Another fish. Let's catch another one. We got another flag. Another one's off. Look at that, I, I just got that other one. And uh, trying to still rig up another one. I got this one still on the ice. Well, I see that one spinning. It's spinning, we got a fish there. That one's set up on the top of the ridge. Oh, it's really spinning. It's spinning really fast. That one's only in about five feet of water. And uh, yeah, another fish on there. He stopped, he's probably eating it. Hopefully he's not on the line. It was spinning like crazy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going. Yeah. He's there. He's still there. Oh no, it's frozen oh. in. Yeah, this one hasn't moved for a while. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're just gonna have to. He's there. Yeah. Oh, it's keeping line. Look at that, he's there. Yeah. I don't know, he doesn't feel that big. Oh, yeah, it's pretty tight. See, it's hard when it's in shallow water because they're like. At such an angle. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh, he's not. Yeah, he's heavy. No. He's coming my way. Shoot. He feels like he's just a big one, just dragging. He's gonna wake up. Cause he's not doing any head shakes. It could be a big one, Johnny. Oh, it's a big one. I think. I think this is a big one. Oh, he's starting to wake up. Just watch out. Don't get the camera. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it could be, it's hard to tell when they're like this because they pull right on the line, on the ice. But he's not really fighting, he's just dragging back to me. Oh, oh, oh no, he's not oh. that big, No. He's about like... No. Yeah. Right Look on the side. Hot. On the right side. side. Oh yeah, that's yeah. bigger. Ten, ten pounds? That's bigger than the other oh. ones. Yeah, twelve. Oh, oh shoot. What? Open his mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yes. oh no 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 don't don't no. I'll pull the pliers in there. I'll pull the pliers. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay. Let me get my thumb it's on out. it. Oh, the teeth are unreal, bro. That's a bigger one. Just shreds you. Yeah, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. There we go. That's a bigger fish right there. That's a nice pike. That's probably about 12, 13 pounds. That bigger fish back over 10 pounds and let him go. Oh, there yeah, go. look at that. Boom. God, God. And he was in the shallowest the one. Shallowest one, five feet of water.
bike right there. That's a nice one. Yep. Well, we got something here. Got another one on. Running in, hopefully the battery lasts. This is the shallow one, the five footer. You can see how windy it is. Oh, he's spinning. Oh yeah, that's a good one, Johnny. Get it. Go get that one. Oh, it might be just tip. Oh, that's a big fish, boy. It's spinning. No, she's not frozen. Oh yeah. Yeah. This one's turning. This one's set right on the bank. When I look under the water, I can see the drop off here. And uh, this one's spinning slowly, ever so slowly. Let's get this set up here. See if he's still there. He's probably chowing down on it. Hopefully, it's not a little guy. Because it's freezing cold and my hands are cold. I'm resetting these dip ups. Oh, burr. It's cold out here, guys. This is the new rig I just tied with Gamakatsu hooks. And, uh, 80 pound fluorocarbon. So I'll see if she holds. This guy's just sitting there. He's not moving. So I might be holding the bait, turning it around or something. This is when they often drop it. If they're not moving, they just spin it out. I like them to be turned away from me when I set the hook. If they're just coming towards me, sometimes you just pull the bait straight out of their mouth. If they're swimming away, they'll pull the hooks back into the side of their mouth. Not huge. Small one. Not very big. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, 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 oh. No. 
No. Oh shoot, he came off. Uh, oh, he's back there. He's back. He's, he's on. Fast. He's on. Oh, oh, no, oh, he was skating towards you. Yeah, he's coming right off. He was, he, was, he was skating towards you, Brad. He shot right now. Yeah. Now I gotta get a, a new plate. Another plate right there. Nice one. Come on, buddy. Ah, Ooh, look at this big fish right here. We're gonna let this big pike go. That's that's a good fish. We should wait. We should, you got the scale? Yep. I mean, I mean, not the scale, the measuring tape. Well, I'll go get it. Yeah. Yeah. 38 inches, and there he goes. There he goes. Is he measuring? Yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, just like he's gonna go. Back in the lake. There he goes. Oh yeah. Seems to be all we're catching today is pike, but that's okay. We've been fishing for a week and a half, and we haven't had a half decent day. Haven't been able to make any videos. It's been terrible. Today it's way too cold, way too windy. If I leave this camera outside, it dies in like five minutes. So keep having to put it back in the truck. Way too cold today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button. Hit that like button. And comment below. Thanks for watching as always. Thanks for joining us. Tip out fishing for pike today. Hope you had fun watching this and learned something. Usually I keep my baits about one foot, foot and a half off the bottom. I know some guys lay them on the bottom. But uh, for me off the bottom seems to work. And keeping the bait either horizontal or slightly head down seems to work the best. Okay, take it easy guys. Keep the tight lines.